everyone, Serena B here. Welcome back to my channel today. I have a freckled fawn collab video for Tomboy USA and I'm going to be making a project life spread for June. So I'm just showing you the goodies that they sent us and the cute adorable pouch that everything came in. So let's get started. I'm going to be using the Tombow Mono Adhesive Plus Permanent which is our new adhesive and I'm showing you here that it actually moves back and forth because it's as soon as you put it down there's a release of adhesive. You don't have to fidget with it and it's just an amazing adhesive and it's permanent so it works really well with these vellum um, alphabet die cuts from Freckled Fawn that we got. And I'm going to be using the Tombow Extreme Adhesive to adhere down the acrylic speech bubble uh, die cut that says hello and I went with the black one and that's my title card for the month of June. The next card is really cute. It's a Game of Thrones card and I'm using my Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue to adhere this acrylic frame that I got also from Freckled Fawn. And I just kind of wanted to frame the two characters. I saw this picture on Facebook and I thought it was so cute. It's um, two characters from Game of Thrones. Now I'm using the Tombow Stamp Runner because this glue gives you a lot of wiggle room and for this card particularly I was layering two pieces of paper, well a photo on a piece of paper, so I wanted that wiggle room to play around with how I wanted to layer it on this card. That's why I went with this glue because you can put it down and lift it up and it won't damage your photo or your papers. So here I'm documenting my 11 year anniversary with my boyfriend, we went out for a great supper and um, so I'm just documenting that and I'm using these alphabet stickers that I had in my stash. It's a gold foil font. And I'm just adding some washi tape that I had in my stash. This washi tape wasn't sticky so again I'm using the Tombow Stab Runner to adhere that down. And that's the finished card. Here I'm taking a 9x12 Project Life sleeve and that's the album size for my Project Life. I want to make smaller pages so that is why I trimmed off the top and now I'm just going to start putting um, cards together. This is what this one looks like. It's not one of my favorite cards but it documents the new video and the fact that I was working on a Melanie Martinez flipbook from that day and I thought it was really fitting because she released a new video that day as well. Again using the Tombow Mono Adhesive Plus to adhere these photos down. This is the paper placemat they put on your table. We went for brunch that day and so I just trimmed it down to a 3x4 card and it was raining that day. It was really rainy so I'm using these uh, Freckled Fawn cloud acetate pieces and so I used the yellow one and now I'm using the um, wood chips in clouds from Freckled Fawn as well and I'm hearing that down with the Tombow Extreme Adhesive because it, it holds uh, items like this really well. I cut off the acetate cloud and the leftover piece I just glued it on top with the Mono Multi Liquid Glue. So here I'm documenting my mom's birthday and I'm using these felt alphabet um, pieces from Freckle Fawn as well. And I just spelled that happy birthday and to glue them down I'm using the Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue. It's great for gluing this type of material, it dries clear and it sticks really well. You don't see any of the glue from underneath. So some glues you can see the glue seeping through because it's felt but this dries clear and you do not see anything like that. And now to further decorate this card I'm taking the wood chips lightning bolts from the cloud set and I wanted an opaque mint green color that's why I went with the sharpie pen. You can definitely use your Tombow dual brush pens if you want to alter a wood veneer like this. And I'm adhering them down with the Tombow mono aqua liquid glue for a better secure hold and that is the end of the card. Next I'm going to be decorating another anniversary card. I'm just adding some washi tape for my sash. And again, I'll be using the Tombow Stamp Runner to adhere this photo because I want to plan ahead. If I thought I was going to move this photo around a little bit, then that's why I use that adhesive. But then you see me using the Tombow Mono Adhesive Plus Permanent Glue when I know that that photo is going to stay there and it's not going to budge, if that makes any sense. And I'm adhering down the wood chips from the words and the clouds from Freckled Fawn. And these little adorable hearts came with the cloud set. They're so freaking cute. And so I just layered some down and I went to my boyfriend and I asked him, cloud or no cloud? And he said cloud, so I put another cloud there. 
to further alter these wood chips, I'm going to be using my Stickles in Crystal. It dries really pretty, has a nice sparkle, and you still see the wood from underneath, so I really like that. And I just went ahead and stamped the dates. Well, I didn't show this on camera, but I had the date written behind my photo, but I wanted to layer it behind that placemat thing that I showed you before. Because it was so thin, the written date that I wrote behind my picture was showing through. So what I did was I took the Tombow Mono two-way correction tape, covered up the date, and you don't even see it. So here I'm using the acetate clouds that came with uh, my freckled fawn pack and I just use them as like a background embellishment. I think it looks really cool this way and it matches the blue in the text message. So I'm just adhering this paper down on the back of the other card and this is an Instax picture that I printed of the flowers my boyfriend gave me for our anniversary and I'm keeping this super simple, just the photo and adding a washi tape piece that says amazing. I'm using the Tombow Mono Adhesive Plus to adhere those two pages together and I'm done. I'm just showing you here really quickly the pages and how it looks all completed. And I think it turned out really pretty. If you guys uh, like these items that I use from Freckle Fawn, please check out their website. I'll have the link down below. I'll also have a coordinating blog post on the Tombow USA blog if you guys want to get a better look at these photos and more detail on how I put this page together. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and projects. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day.